Greetings, weirdlings. I'm Danny Danger, and this is my pull list for April 1st. No jokes. All of these comics I'm actually pulling. Someone is after the aproned assassin herself, and it's up to Josie to figure out who's trying to kill her before it's too late in Lady Killer number four. Convergence number zero is a thing that's happening this week. I have really mixed feelings on Convergence because on the one hand, ugh, it's another crossover. It's gonna interrupt other titles. It's just a pain in the butt. You have to buy a bunch of different comics. And it does seem like they're trying to make that nostalgia dollar by pulling old, you know, classic stories into the new universe. That having been said, I have not been the biggest fan of the new 52, so I would definitely pay money to, you know, see some alternate universes brought in. I really like Superman, Red Sun, and Kingdom Come. Would love to find out more about those universes. And also would like to be in a universe where Lois loves Clark and Clark loves someone other than Wonder Woman. I don't like them together. My weekly anti-Wonder Soups rant is over. Done. I'm trying not to combust because I'm really upset about the two of them together. I can tell. Okay, somebody blot me. Somebody blot my forehead. I'm really upset. Like, that's what we need. We need a person. Oh, oh, we need a person to come and blot my forehead when I get too impassioned about Wonder Soups. You can have your pen back now. Part of me hopes we can just keep all of that. <laughs> In Gotham Academy Endgame number one, Gotham Academy has lost all power, and of course Gotham is teeming with crazy people right now, so the kids get together and they tell ghost stories. Except that they're going to tell Joker stories, which are reasonably more terrifying than ghost stories, so stay tuned. Non-player number one releases a third printing. Here's a third printing of a comic that will never release a second issue. Are you trying to be cruel? Are you toying with my heart? Or could it be? Supposedly non-player number two is gonna come out in June. But you know how valid and reliable indie release dates are. So maybe sometime in 2015? Maybe sometime before I'm dead? If you don't know what non-player is about, it's a really great story about a woman who's playing a full immersion video game, but the non-playing characters have really heartfelt reactions. So something's a little bit off and the art is stupid good. Like blow your mind good. Teenagers. They're just so selfish. Sometimes you just wanna drop them in the wilderness and let them fight for survival. Have you ever considered that? Alex DeCampi did in No Mercy number one. This is why I quit nannying. I don't know a lot about the state of the Ultimate Universe right now, so maybe this isn't such a shocker for everybody else, but Lieutenant Frank Castle? Seriously? Somebody gave that dude authority in the justice system? This is gonna be terrible for our hero in Spider-Gwen number three. I'm gonna pick up Squarriors number two because much to my everlasting shame, I didn't pick up issue number one and Warrior Squirrels, duh. Also, Weird Love number six and Penny Dora and the Wishing Box number four. Hey, Texas residents, I will be at HavenCon this Saturday. The Weird Girls panel about bi and pansexual visibility is at Saturday, 2 p.m. You should come and oh my God, you should definitely come to HavenCon. They just opened up passes Janet Barney, you guys, Janet Barney. I'm gonna fangirl all over the place, all over the place, except in her immediate presence, because that's tacky. Be sure to like this video, share, and subscribe, because we talk about much comics. They are delicious. Mmm, your tummy. Special thanks, as always, goes out to Austin Books and Comics. We love you. Holding on to our pull list dearly. Thanks, guys.